This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! Yay! My name is Whitney. I live with Zach, my son Zayden, and Zach's grandfather, Gary. Zachary's been living with me for probably over a year. Yeah! My favorite thing in the world is Whitney and Zayden. They are my world. I've been able to watch them and how they take care of Zayden, and they are very good parents with Zayden. It's just very frustrating and hard right now because I am a cocaine and heroin addict. Zach is pawning families' things to get money. Awesome. There doesn't really seem to be an end for him. When Zachary was born, Honestly, I felt like I had just been born. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. Well, my brother's always been my best friend growing up. I wanted to be just like my brother. Zachary and I have been very close for many years because of the situation his parents were in. When Zachary was five, that's when I became very addicted to pills. They both got messed with the drugs and alcohol. Everything just went to hell. We were the same age, we were both teenage parents. Zachary's dad always got into the drug scene. Oh, I do remember like, waking up in the mornings and my dad would take Alyssa and I with them. They would go like steal from people's garages they, to go pawn it. I do remember that. The police came to our house. He was home with the children and they arrested him. I got to my house right as they were leaving and I was begging them not to take the kids. And so my husband just looked at me and he said, well, Judy, we don't have a choice. We've got to adopt them. It was just the start of a black hole for my brother. When I allowed Zach's father into our home, I didn't realize the influence that, that he had on Zach in hindsight. It was plain stupid on my part. My dad's actually the first person I ever used heroin with. I remember the smell of the heroin. I always knew when he would relapse because I would smell it if he went and used it in the bathroom. Since you submitted Zach for the show, something has changed in your life. I need to ask you about something. Okay. Not once my ears so I can smack you. What? Where's my guns? About a couple weeks ago, I pawned two of my grandpa's real handguns. That was probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Also, bring me back that copy of every place you pawned my stuff. We're running out of time with me. I've had it. The stress has become way more than I need to handle. And what did I tell you about well, the next time you did something? that you were gonna call the cops. I'm gonna give you another choice. Be gone out of my house by Monday. If it was not for this intervention, Zachary would be in jail right now. Whitney and the kids can stay with you. You be gone. Damn it. What? Zach? What? Your grandma's mom. I'm leaving with. You're not gonna... I can't. Grandpa. Oh. I got alone on the computer. Huh? I got alone on the computer. On oh, what computer? Your computer. Mine? Yes. You did what? I got alone on it. You're dead. Get out of here. Get out of my house right now. Okay. What? What my cousin do? Son of a what? 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 Don't. Go to damn you, you go. Get off yeah, of me. Just try it, you little son of a bitch. I'll break your neck in two. Get off of me. Get off of you, you damn freak. I don't even know who that you are. I think you are. You got a roll on my computer. First you try my goddamn credit cards, and then you take my computer. That's the second son of a bitch you've taken. 
don't just kill you. That's what I'll do. What in the is wrong with you? You sick son of a bitch. You can't be trusted. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, you know how I know how I can fix that? One damn phone call. And how much did you get it for? Just 80. Come on, get my truck. We're going over there. Right now. Get the truck. We're gonna have to go to our classroom. Get the goddamn truck! I'm your class! Get the truck! Stop! Go yeah. with him, Zach! Now! Uh. I'm not sure you're just an addict or if you're just a damn thief, Zachary. My grandpa is my dad. I never meant to purposely hurt him. Just to think, in a matter of a year, how much our lives have changed. I need to get the laptop brought in a little while ago. This piece of is my grandson. How much does he owe on? $92. I don't have any money right now. Bring me $12 and we can hold it at another 30 days for you, okay? Oh, okay. So we found something out since arriving here to film Zach's story, and what we found out is that his girlfriend, Whitney, who submitted him for the show, is using just as much as he is. Okay. So they're using together. She's in just as deep, but she's part of his intervention. So that's a big deal. They don't know that she's using right now. Her grandparents don't know that she's using. I came here to do one intervention with Zach, but it became clear when, once I was here that we had to help Whitney too. So we'll be doing something with her and trying to get her to go to treatment as well. Hey, Zach. Hi, nice son. I love you, bud. Zach, as you've known the last weeks, I've been very angry at you. <gasps> I'm here because I love you. Hard of you seeing you waste your life. Zach, you have changed so much the past 11 years. You are so smart and intelligent. I want to see you go forward with your life. I do love you. Dear Zach, I'm here because I love you. I care about you and want the best for you. I want our family to be together and happy. I made a plan for you to be the person to spend my life with. So please, Zachary, will you take that step? Will you get the help today? What's going to happen with Whitney and Zayden? And Whitney doesn't even know about this part, so I'm, I'm springing this on her right now. So what we have lined up right now is a seven-day supervised medical detox in town. And then after that is that there's a place up in Sundance called Cirque Lodge. So now I'm asking you, is that something you'll do? Yep, yes? Okay. So you're going, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Gotta be taken care of, okay? Hey, Jeff. Hey, Zach. How are you? Good, how are you? Very well, thank you. You look a lot better than when I saw you last time. Each day gets better and better. I take all the advice I can get. This is the best thing that could have ever happened to me, coming here. I'm glad you're doing well. You, you as well, thank you. Get back this train. 